So this is what I wanted to ask Matt to share, which oh. um, o- only because like I feel like I have new listeners now. Oh. Would you feel comfortable? You can say no when we can tell them to go uh, back. I have a bad feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but going. you can easily say no and we'll do a new story. How would you feel recapping the worst haunted house story that you told me that is I can't stop thinking about it ever? Okay. <laughs> feel free to <laughs> interrupt, ask questions. <laughs> Check in with me to see if I'm okay. Okay. It's crazy. And we've said it on an episode before, but I feel like it's worth re-saying. Okay. So as we've established, <laughs> I enjoy going to haunted houses. Correct. <laughs> I find that to be a fun evening. <laughs> <laughs> Orlando Horror Nights is bigger and better. So like not every year, but like sometimes I will go with some friends and we'll still go to the Orlando one, even though I live very close to this one. Yeah, I'm very close to this very one. Very close yeah. to this one. Okay. But there was a year that I was like, I'm going to do one of those extreme houses where you have to sign a waiver. What? I didn't even know they had those. So they they have <laughs> haunted mazes where you sign a waiver. You're, and you sign your life away. And the reason you're signing a waiver is so that, not so that, but because they can touch you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you kind of go knowing that. That's it. They can like touch you no they can or like, like they can like mess with you they can kiss you well so here's the thing <laughs> they don't really specify okay? okay and so in 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 my mind i'm like oh no like hands coming out of the dark and like grabbing at you that's spooky scary yeah but what okay <laughs> so we went to this thing you have to go so okay you have to go alone which is fine because honestly who's going with you right you know if you've, okay, if you've you... agreed to do this oh. so you go you go to this place you wait in a long line if you speak, in, there's no like sign that says what the rules are, but anytime you speak, this guy will come out and scream at you, like this big dude, <gasps> like a bouncer looking guy. Okay. So it's already like, you're and, kind of like- Okay, what do you mean you have to go alone? Can't you just bring friends and you guys all stand solo? <laughs> yes, you can all stand solo and then you have to go through the house solo. Alone. Yeah. Okay, but- is I this, guess you're right. I could in, have gone to it with is people. This... <laughs> Is I hadn't thought of it, but in the dead of night, I will be thinking, oh, people would have gone with me. They just couldn't go in with me. And no one volunteered or made eye contact with me when I brought it up. So I went alone. Is this um, in New York? This one was in New York, yes. Is it called Summer? Is it uh, Macbeth? Um, no, it's not Sleep No More. That's the one I'm thinking of. Because my so friend I've did also get done... kissed. Yes. Sleep... And... And uh, yeah, I'm scared to do that one. And Sleep, you have to go in alone. It's all that. Sleep No More is like really artsy. It's like a yeah, it's another avant garde. Yeah, you're you're wearing a mask and you walk around and um, Hamlet. So far, you're I'm my head went straight to Sleep No More. So. Yeah, no, that's like okay, but instead of that. Okay, but instead of that, you like you sign a waiver. They bring you into like the first room. The first room is pitch black, wow. and you're just walking. You're stumbling around in the dark, and hands are just grabbing you. And it was very scary. I was like, this is what I thought it would be. Okay. It's, it's very scary. And there's like loud, like like a loud bwong sound <laughs> playing. So like it's like deafening in there and you're like all off kilter. But then you find this like there's like a light and you walk towards it and it's a door and you're like, oh my God, a door. Great. So you go through the door and it's like this fully lit room that's very small. And inside of it is a is a man fully naked. No. Covered in blood. <gasps> And and he's just going find the key, <laughs> find this the is key. So New York. This actor was thrilled. For and I'm job. like, <laughs> oh okay. So I like I'm like can, looking can around. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, yeah. I know you were alone, but were you with a group of people alone, or you're physically alone? No, right you now? have to physically be alone. Okay. So it's just so it's just you, you so, and the naked man. Yes, yeah, so it's just you and, and the naked man. Oh, wow. And he's going find the key. <laughs> No. And you find the key. It's like Uh. hidden in the room. You find it. And there's a door. So you go to unlock it. And then the most annoying part of this room is that even when you find the key, the guy had like no script and was not an improviser because he just keeps going, find the key. And you're like, I have it. (laughs) Naked man. (laughs) Shut up. Is he good looking or... Um, Did when people cast? are drenched in blood, scream and find the key like that, and they're You're like all, okay. he's all like kind of contorted and stuff. It's not good looking, you know. So like, it's I would, a nice way to say no. But like in real life, if we <laughs> saw him, we might be like mm, handsome man. Okay, but yeah, like, yeah. you know, when you're like shaking and you're doing, like, yeah, yeah, that's usually not like get turned off. Yeah, <laughs> if you look like a dog, shit and razor blades, <laughs> okay. fully nude, covered in blood. I'm not gonna immediately go handsome. Okay, okay, okay. That's not the part of it that I remember. 
Thanks for asking. You might have liked this house, <laughs> okay. though. Okay, okay. And then you go in, like, a dirty bathroom. There's a girl, like, she has, like, a thing. So it's like she's throwing up in a toilet, and she's, like, grabbing at you and pulling you what into stalls. What do you stalls. mean? Is she really throwing up? It's hard to tell. I think it's, like, a mechanism that she had, like, here to make it um, projectile I sure hope vomit. so. Yeah, that it's hard. I mean, terrible. You're, like, only, I mean, you're also, like, looking around. So it's, like, yeah, I don't know. It's she's all, just throwing up it's in the very, toilet. It's all very strange. But the worst room, the reason Mandy brings it up. <laughs> It's because there's a lot of rooms like this, okay? There's people in cages screaming. You get pushed in a cage. You, like, are in it for a little bit, and then you're, like, get out of it. And it's, it's all weird stuff. But then you get in a room, and the room is, like, wall-to-wall old TVs, and it's all playing, um, like, animals being born. <laughs> like, close-ups. <laughs> like, oh, old is... footage. I would die. Of, like, things being slaughtered or being born. It's oh. a very strange thing. And then someone comes up behind you, and they put headphones on, and it's just monks chanting so loud. Just the loudest... <laughs> Oh. monks chanting you've ever heard uh-huh. and they blindfold you oh no and then they kick out your knees from behind so you like drop down to your knees oh and then so i'm blindfolded i'm listening to monks <laughs> i'm on my knees <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm i'm contemplating you know some life choices that i've made <laughs> to be where i am and then somebody grabs your like your chin and they like kind of squeeze it, you know? <laughs> okay, he's gonna kiss you. And then, no, and then something's put in my mouth no. and taken out and then put back in my mouth mm. and then taken out. And Oh, but you you don't know what's... But you, you don't, don't know because you're blindfolded and you can't hear anything. Of, you're very like disoriented, I will I'm say. I'm like, I get what they're trying to do though here. Yeah, so okay. for... so for uh, Then I finally like remembered I had some agency, you know? And... <laughs> Like, not a ton, but I have, like, a little bit. So I, like, rip the blindfold off. Because I'm, like, also, I, like, bring soap with me when I go places. I, like, I'm, like, a very, I have, like, all kind of, I'm riddled with pride. Is this an intervention? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, like, like, I don't like when someone I know touches my face, never mind a stranger. Like, I'm, like, freaking out. So I, I rip off the blindfold. In front of me is this, like, this woman who's in full ghoul makeup is the only way I can describe it. Okay. Just, like, a very scary ghoul. And she's holding a dildo. And she'd been putting a dildo in my mouth. Oh my god! And Isn't so that I, crazy? I just blurt out like, "Is it even clean?" <laughs> and the best part of this entire experience, if there is one, is that she leaned forward and she's in. I can't. She's in like movie <laughs> makeup. Like she's in such good ghoul, scary ghoul yeah. makeup. She leans right into me and goes, just in her normal voice, "Don't worry, we put a condom on it." <laughs> and then goes back to being like, <laughs> like oh. goes back to like her goal and I'm like fine oh. 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 I guess you know and then you get in a hallway <laughs> where they like put a plastic bag on your head and like there's like a hole in it so you don't die but at that point you're like kill me you know <laughs> and they make you crawl down this long hallway towards this big fat dude in a diaper who's just touching his nipples oh. and um, the last room was <laughs> a gift shop <laughs> <laughs> that sounds nice. Do they sell that dildo in the gift shop? No. I looked. <laughs> right next to the t-shirt that says, I just survived the P. Diddy party. Yeah, seriously. Oh. It is It is tough to find out that the whole time you were at a Diddy party. Like, all this time. I'm just like, I went to a really crazy haunted house. And everyone's like, Matt, you were sexually assaulted <laughs> yeah. at a party. And I'm like, no, no, I bought a ticket. And they're like, that doesn't mean it was a haunted house. I'm like, no, it was. It was a haunted house. You remember the haunted house I went to in New York? And they're like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Is everyone wearing white? Sure, sure. <laughs> and at some point, they drew like in lipstick on you, and they would like write mean, terrible stuff like on your forehead what? or like somewhere. So like everybody that was on the street had like a dick drawn on their forehead. So or, like... I have a question. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. much did you know going into it what you were going to be in for? I really didn't know. So the best, I don't know if this is going to hit for anybody, but okay. the best couple ways I can describe it, because I've been living with this for a long time. Okay. <laughs> okay. You haven't is gone that... back since. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I enjoy haunted houses, but mm. I think of a haunted house as like, like the your favorite dive bar. Mm-hmm. Like I like a haunted house. Like even when I was describing the hayride, it's like it's like a little junky at times, yeah. but it's like what a fun time. Like yeah. oh man, like I'll have a PBR and walk through this like, yeah. and Dracula's gonna pop out of a coffin. What a dream! <laughs> this place was like the worst club you've ever been to. Like, that's the difference. It's like, those are both bars, I suppose. But one is like, just the worst. Mm-hmm. It's like, when people would watch American Horror Story and always be like, Matt, you must love American Horror Story. You love horror movies and all that stuff. And be like, no, because American Horror Story is always like, hey, what if a couple went to a haunted hotel? And you're like, that's scary. And they're like, what if a monster was in the mattress? And you're like, that's scary. And you're like, and the mon- monster pops out when they're on their honeymoon. And you're like, that's very scary. And they're like, 
and the monster has a drill for a dick. <laughs> and it rapes the husband in front of the... And you're like, oh, I don't... Why? Mm. Too far. Ryan Too Murphy, far. why do you got to do that to me? Mm. Why does it have to be... Ryan Murphy loves that shit. Like, why does it always have to go mm. so... So it was like, it it was like really far. sexual the whole time. Mm. Oh, and I found okay. that like... I didn't find that scary. I found it like boring or like... I was just kind of like, oh, yeah. now what's happening in here? Fine. <laughs> Yeah. I just feel like that I walked through the whole thing like fine, Ugh. yeah, lock me in this. I don't care. It's like that haunted house is what it's like to date when before you're in your thirties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, dating in your twenties, the haunted house. But do you think like these are gonna last very long? I feel like in the in the two thousand tens, it was okay. I think people are getting more like. Well, there was just a documentary about this type that, of stuff. Yeah. There's a twenty-seven thousand person wait list for this freak show here. Yeah, is that uh, the one though? There's a documentary on one of the places because the guy they everyone has come out and been like, "Hey, so this is run by a predator." Really? <laughs> yeah. So there is a documentary about <gasps> like, "Ooh, these extreme haunts, yeah. isn't that interesting?" And then like, slowly the documentary becomes a. <sighs> Gee whiz! Film, yeah. I yeah. have yeah. to yeah. say. I have no desire to go to one of these. Even after I describe it? <laughs> Even after. Chase, how do you not want to go to that? That's so crazy. You know what I went to solo was the Taylor Swift concert. Oh, okay. That's, so that's a version. That's more my speed <laughs> yeah, okay. of going solo somewhere. <laughs> 